six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her career. Are you kidding? That's the perfect marriage. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble of fine Yates cynicism, but the Yates are genuinely crazy about it. Mr. Yates? It's Aaron, sir, from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the file. Sorry it took so long, but I had to ask the fellow. Talk about insult to injury. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Evening, senor. Would you care for the baby? Mysterious ways. I just don't get his fascination with this Burnwood woman. She is an orchid. Perhaps even his equal. So? All the more reason to keep her at arm's length. That's not how he sees it. Burnwood is passionate. And passion can be directed. People who want to change the world are the easiest to corrupt. I say it's a trick. He wants something from her. Probably that assassin first. Nah, there's more to it. Burnwood went up against the constant and lost, which came too close for comfort, and now winning is not enough. He doesn't just need to beat her, he needs to convert her. Sounds like an unhealthy fixation, if you ask me. She kidnapped him, for Christ's sakes. You sure it's not just a case of Stockholm Syndrome? Oh, this is the constant we're talking about. Don't worry, he's got Vidal watching Burnwood's every move. That girl has eyes in places I didn't even know existed. Uh, something at least. I was third in the line of succession, after Robert and Sierra Knox. Then the pesky Kronstadt board of directors decided to hire an outsider. Former chair of the Applied Science Division at Caltech with a rep for being uncorrupted. With her at the helm, our friends would have lost control of Kronstadt altogether. Luckily for us, she went and wrapped her car around a tree. Brakes, apparently. That is fortuitous. Anyway, Kronstadt stays in the family, same as the other assets. So the heralds keep telling us. By their account, those terrorists barely made a scratch. You don't sound convinced. How are we to tell when we don't know who's who? No, I don't believe the Constant had this situation under control. I even hear he was kidnapped. He must have done something right. Wouldn't have been promoted to partner otherwise. Hmm, I suppose. I don't really care either way. Providence paved my way and I'm grateful, but I paid my dues. I wouldn't if be surprised if he considered me a threat. But still rise tomorrow, but if he bold enough to I defy would still Edward, be governor. he'd be a damn fool. But they don't call him Cojones for nothing. I need to inform him. Let him know something cruel. Awful shame what happened. It was the most charming little village. Almost made it onto the UNESCO World Heritage List. Must have been some rainfall. Yes. Terrible, terrible shame. I blame climate change. Nothing we at the Mendoza local council could have done about it, of course. Man plans and God laughs and all that. So you don't think the construction of a brand new dam right on the other side of the village might have had anything to do with the flooding? The dam that conveniently redirects the underground water flow to this very vineyard, bypassing the local ban on irrigation. The very same dam that was donated by a foreign benefactor whose name is lazily Yates in reverse. Nonsense. Mr. Sete is an honest businessman. And Mr. Yates is a pillar of the community. He would never think to break the rules. A he, a gentleman of the law. You should be ashamed of yourself, ma'am. Good day to you. Tell me you didn't forget. Tell me you didn't forget the asado torch. Okay. Hey there. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. But you did, though. Didn't you, Pablo? No. Why do you have to be such a baby all the time? Mr. Yates' gates are waiting. What are we supposed to tell him? That Leonard is late because the Yosa brothers forgot the torch for the damn asado pit? It's just a stupid torch. I'm sure someone's gonna like Miguel. It's traditional. Look, I'm not gonna explain it to Over you. There. 
Just find another torch. Don't care how. Before we're a laughing stock. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. My mother prefers yes. him, I will never understand. Why I take it Edwards told you to chaperone me. Any idea why? You know why. Trust is earned. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes and ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edward's decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war about five minutes ago. Some people are funny like that. But not you. I admire the craft, the audacity. Everyone said Providence was untouchable and along you came. The way I see it, you did us a service. That's cold. I like you more already. Touché. Diana Burnworth. Long time no see. Forgive me, I can't quite place you, Mr... Reaper. Tobias Reaper. We used to work for the same company. They went under. Ah, yes. A shame what happened. But nothing lasts forever, I suppose. Oh, but where are my manners? This is my colleague, Tamara Vidal. Miss Vidal? What brings you to Argentina, Reaper? Are you one of Don Yates' clients? Client? No. Hi. I'm more of a service provider. Right. Well, it was lovely to see you again, Tobias. Now, if you'll excuse us, Tamara and I need to mingle. Of course. See you around. No offense, but your guy is getting kind of stupid. Hello, sir. Why are you here, Bernie? Didn't you know? I have tango fever. Miss, nobody held a gun to your head. Why did you take his offer? It was time for a change. I'll say. Learning the truth about your partner. Harsh. But you see, I read your ICA profile. All those years, you never took a contract for money or glory, only to serve your personal brand of vigilante justice, targeting those who rise above the law, except for yourself, of course, but hey, everyone's a hypocrite. Still, makes you wonder. I was wasting my potential. I did garbage duty for 30 years, and where did it get me? You certainly kept the world's coroners on their toes. Edwards is right. Power never dies. It only changes hands. And his hands, well, I figure the world could do a lot worse. You admire him. I thought resisting power was noble, but revolution is a young person's game. It's easy to tear down, much harder to build. I figure I can be Edward's conscience. God knows I have the practice. Hmm. Did I pass your test? It was hardly the pledge of allegiance, but it's the best I could expect from a free-thinking radical. Hello again, Miss Burnwood. Miss Vidal. He is a polite one, isn't he? Oh, Mr. Reaper is in many ways a man out of time. And what is it you do, Reaper? Don't tell me. Banker. Corporate liquidator. Ah, so you're the guy nobody likes. They so rarely get a chance to know me. Well, we really should be getting on. Do you dance, Reaper? I like to lose myself in a crowd. Good. Perhaps we'll do a bit of that later. Dancing. The night is young, Miss Fidel. Tobias, this is really not the best time to catch up. I'm saying no other law firm has this kind. It was a short stint, but they made their mark. The art society never did the same. They tried to know. Still, I can't imagine how I would. 
What do you believe in, Vidal? I believe most people need to be led. They want it too, mind you. They've just been brainwashed by liberal humanism to think it's something to resist, something to be ashamed of. Might is right. Is that it? Any dumb mob or chest-pounding gorilla has might. I believe in merit, the rule of competence. Those who are born with superior skills and intellect have a moral obligation to lead. It's as simple as that. Wow. You're just a social media shitstorm waiting to happen, aren't you? Don't talk to me about privilege. When the enemy is at the gates, you want the best man leading the charge, privileged or not. Questioning natural hierarchies is a peacetime luxury, and it only leads to chaos and decline. Providence must exist. A necessary evil. Nothing evil about it. No such thing. Miss Burnwood, Miss Fidel, we meet again. We do indeed. You know, I just tried defending you on social media, but your profile appears to be blocked for requests. In my line of work, privacy is power. Well, you certainly do take bland, generic tourist photos like nobody's business. Why, you've got every cliched attraction known to man, from the Sphinx to the Easter Island statues, but never with you in them. Camera shy, Reaper? I generally try to keep out of photos myself. Right. Would you mind taking a walk, Reaper? I'd like to discuss something on the QT. Tamara, I think you have the wrong idea. No, please. Lead the way. I think you have a fan. Right this way. I know a spot away from prying eyes. So, corporate liquidator. That must be exciting. Nothing quite like it. I bet. Weeding out the old and slow so that something new and fast may thrive. Admirable. Say, do you have a business card? Or are those out of style? I don't advertise. I rely strictly on word of mouth. I see. Only as good as your latest job, huh? Hmm. Must be stressful. It keeps me on my toes. I bet. What was your biggest job? Hello there. The biggest fish you've ever liquidated. The next one, Miss Vidal. Always the next one. Hmm. Won't be long now. Reaper does not exist. I was CIA. I know I have a sock puppet identity in my soul. Who am I then? I know you're going with assassin. What I don't know is why you're here or why she's covering for me, but it's off the point. You're my golden ticket to become the constant. So, are you going to admit it? If I am who you say I am, do you really think this was your best course of action? It's five against one. Yes. See your mistake. Hey!
This isn't going away, my love. It falls on me as constant to protect Providence against all threats, even his bad decisions. So let's treat this like a point. The same body would have been material witness to the people and you need to get rid of them. Walk me through your strategy. Best course of action is blackmail. I've called in one of the firm's junior partners to dig up some dirt. The Burnwood has a weakness. Then Corvo gets to earn his salary a year. Burnward suffers an accident, convincing but not too convincing, and the blame falls on her rogue assassin with a whimsical. right to work on my All right, you're on the clock, here we go. What do you got on Burnwood, Thomas, Guy? I... Well, I'm fairly certain she was a handler in the ICA. Her name doesn't feature in any of this. Publicized documents, but... I figure... All new, I don't care who the place where the tracking knoll. What I want to know about is your involvement in the 1% killing. Take a good look at this woman. What do you see? A monster? Revolutionary fanatic? Violent extremist? You should. Good. You should take a good hard look at this.
this is no problem. And that should. Sure